Global War 36 enthusiast here with a video about understanding interdiction. Interdiction is a game mechanic that occurs when a supply path is being traced through a sea zone and it could potentially be stopped. Recall that supply paths involve tracing supply to factories or shipyards that are outside home country, unit upgrades, the delivery of Lend-Lease, and certain special abilities like DAK or Condor Legion. When a nation may or must interdict. Supply paths can be interdicted if they pass through a sea zone that contains either an unsubmerged submarine, a battle cruiser that's on raiding status, or an aircraft on map. They can also be interdicted if they cross a narrow crossing where there's a coastal artil uh, an enemy coastal artillery. Uh, if a nation is at war with the sending nation, it is required to interdict if possible or when possible, and there are no diplomatic consequences for doing so. So you don't have the choice about whether or not you're going to interdict if you're at war with another country and there's no diplomatic consequences when you interdict. A nation may never interdict a member nation of their alliance. In some situations, neutral eligible units may elect to interdict. To conduct interdiction when you're at peace with the sending nation, the interdicting nation needs to be at full production or currently engaged in a civil war with the receiving nation. So let's look at this situation here. Uh, the Spanish Republicans and Spanish Nationalists are in a civil war with one another. Uh, the Spanish Republicans have this coastal submarine that's off the coast of Galicia and Leon, this um, major shipyard there. If Germany sends Lend-Lease uh, to Galicia and Leon, the Spanish Republicans could elect to interdict, even though they're not at war with Germany. So that when the unit is um, traveling down, when the Lend-Lease delivery is traveling through Sea Zone A35 and it has not yet reached Galicia and Leon, um, the Spanish Republicans are uh, potentially interdicting Germany. They can do that. Um, either the country that's interdicting either has to be at full production or in a civil war. So if the interdiction is successful when at peace with the sending nation, this will understandably upset the sending nation and give them a 1d6 income increase. Full production cannot be exceeded, so if the Spanish Republicans successfully interdict a delivery from Germany, Germany will not increase their income. But say, the, the, um, say if USA had sent uh, a militia upgrade, here to Galicia and Leon, and the Spanish Republicans successfully interdicted it, then that would give USA 1d6 income increase. So how does interdiction work? How, how do we uh, roll this out and see if interdiction was successful? For each C zone where the delivery is interdicted, uh, there's we're subject to interdiction die rolls. There's no die roll modifiers. Um, the, the unit or facility attempting interdiction rolls a d12 using its attack value. So this uh, submarine here, its attack value is 3. The raiding battlecruiser, its attack value is 7. And I'm using this tactical bomber to point out that its attack value is 5. Its defense value is, uh, I'm sorry, its attack value is 7. Its defense value is 5. So um, if the British were foolish enough to try to send uh, lend lease or send a supply path to Gibraltar through C zone A44. Then you'd have one uh, D12 at three for the sub, one D12 at seven for the battle cruiser, and one D12 at seven for the tactile bomber. Of course, uh, coastal artillery is at a three if if there were a situation where you're passing through a narrow crossings uh, with it with a coastal artillery. How about uh, advanced submarines? Advanced submarines increase the uh, interdiction die roll by doubling their attack value of any submarines. Having developed advanced submarines wouldn't help the battlecruiser or tactical bomber, but it would double the advanced submarine here to eight um, for interdiction. If, there's, if this submarine were, were there for interdiction, it would be a six. Please let me know any questions you have about interdiction in the comments below.